Good morning guys. It's a little crispy out right now, zero degrees, but it's supposed to go up to 10 degrees today. So I guess I have no excuse. We are going to take this hunting blind that I received up to the woods. If I can get it out of here and set it up. So we're going to, that means I'm going to have to take like three trips up there, but <laughs> I, I can't, uh, I can't stall any longer. There's no reason. The snow is almost melted. Okay, we had five inches. It's almost gone. And I think I want to set this up at the bird blind. And then that way, if I want to get up early in the morning and wait for the fox and stuff, when we throw out some scraps, the fishers, the coyotes, whatever, I'll have the blind set up. We'll just see how this goes. Um, this is not the original blind that I ordered. So I'll, I'll, I'll take this apart. I'll show you guys as I set it up. The quality was, you know, 500 ratings and they were all like four and a half star. So we'll take a look at it. We'll see if it's any good. I bought this with my own money, obviously not sponsored or anything. So let's go set it up and check it out. Uh, so let's just get it out of the box. Tide We is the brand name. So it comes in its own carrying case, 18 pounds. Uh, it's basically, they say, a two-man tent. It's a pop-up style. So you can see here the legs. Once we take this out of the case that it's in, it's just going to pop right open. Okay, and I'll show you a close-up of the fabric. I think I know why, why they say you can see through it, how it's made. I'll show you. So if you look here at the material, it's perforated. So you can actually see through the holes. So that's, I think, what we're gonna, we'll see when we get it up there in the woods and set it up, but, and I mean, it feels pretty heavy duty. It's weatherproof. It doesn't say 100% waterproof. But so you guys can see, it's been warming up the last few days. And if we have the temperatures this afternoon that they say we're going to get, which is 10 degrees, uh, the last inch of this snow is going to disappear. Hopefully we can get a week like that. And uh, I'll get some more outdoor adventures in before deep cold sets in. So it's like a 15 minute hike up to the uh, bird feeders that I set up. So, and I'm going to have to make probably three trips. I'll set up the tent. Then we'll go back and I'll bring the camera and the tripods and the bird seed. And then I'm going to have to come back and get a chair and some other stuff. I don't have a heater for the blind yet, but it is on my Christmas list. So we'll see if my wife gets me that. I just want one of those little um, hunting buddy propane ones. And I'll probably actually lug my 20 uh, pound tank up there because you can get about 100 hours. On a hundred or on a twenty-pound tank, where if you just use the one-pound tanks, you might get an hour, hour and a half out of a one-pound tank. So you're way better to hook up the twenty-pounder. Oh, there's our red squirrel. Hey, buddy. I didn't bring the seeds this time. I'll be right back.
I'm not gonna lie guys, this tent is not easy to set up. So the box was kind of questionable. It was pretty taped up and I thought, did I get somebody's used tent return? And I very well might have because it says clearly in the instructions that all the windows will be, should be closed to fold it up. Well, this window's not closed. This window's not closed. That window was down a little bit and that one was down a little bit. So we'll check over all the seams and everything, but, but this is pretty cool, look it. We can see out, so this is the back, we can see out 180 degrees. There's the front. Like we could see when the fox is coming or the deer are coming. This is pretty awesome. Here's the door at the back. I don't really think it's big enough for two guys to sit in there with chairs. You could, but you'd be pretty darn cramped with uh, shooting gear or photography gear. It's a one-man tent. 179 bucks gets you a one-man tent. I'm going to check over the seams and everything, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Then I've got to run back to the house. Maybe if I do the Sherpa, I can bring a chair, two tripods, my big camera, and the bird seat all in one go. So I don't want to have to make it 15 minutes each way. Bad rock here, I cannot stake the tent down, but I did tie one of the strings to this little spruce here, so at least the tent can't blow away. So it's securely attached to that tree. The wind can flip it over, can fill it with snow and everything else, but it cannot blow away. The material looks really good, really uh, like D600 waterproof type stuff. And the stitching looks good from what I can see, so hey, we're going with it. I also bought this, guys. It's like a camo netting to go over top. And what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna hide my lens. If my lens is sticking out, we're gonna have this come down just over the top so it, it adds a little bit of camouflage. So I've gone ahead and I've tied off the netting, guys, in a few places there, there, and then on each side, tied it off down here, as well as up on each corner, so it is secured to the hunting blind. I also brought some crust of bread, which we'll just throw out here for maybe some other birds and whatever. So here's my setup with my gimbal and everything right here. I can swing it very easily, just a finger turns everything. I can sit in my chair and relax and just quietly wait for whatever is going to come up the trail. So it's not a bad setup. I don't know how well a heater is going to work in here because the walls are made of holes essentially. So it's pretty windy out here today too. Got the red squirrels running around, so they're at least giving me something to shoot.
We'll show you guys the roof. It's pretty scratched up. Those are all light marks, light coming through the roof. Now, did we do that setting it up? I don't know. I don't think so. So I can't really comment about the overall quality of this blind. It is what it is. It's a blind. Um, the walls are made up out of holes, so it's definitely not going to be waterproof. It's going to be hard to heat, probably. The main purpose is to keep us hidden from animals. They can't see what we're doing. They can't see that we're in here. And that's what it is. I mean, it's kind of annoying that there's all these little pinholes in the top and on the back here I see. It's got to be from shipping. You know, did I get somebody's used one as I was questioning I don't know it's kind of annoying actually but can you hear the wind out there All right, I'm gonna sit in here and wave my hands in front of that screen. We'll put the camera outside and see if you guys can see inside the blind with the window closed. Waving my hands, can you guys see me? So while I sit here and wait for some bigger game to show up, why don't you guys check out the trail camera that we have just 60 yards down the trail there and uh, we'll see what we got on there this month a whole lot of Gary walking back and forth feeding uh, the birds and carrying blinds and all that stuff but I'm sure there's gonna be some animals on there too so check it out